Bash, how are you feeling about um, this spot in the team now? It's a bit more comfortable, a couple of goals in the weekend. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. Um, just a couple, so a couple might be nice, but um, oh, yeah, you can't get too comfortable in the side. There's a lot of boys. <laughs> um, like Dickie and uh, a few boys pushing up now. He's still a strike in those boys pushing up, so I uh, can never get too comfy. And uh, yeah, it's got to take it week by week now. So. How did you find Collingwood on the MCG? How did you describe it? Uh, personally, it was a great experience on the G uh, against a quality side like Collingwood. Um, obviously disappointing coming away with a loss, but I um, thought the boys, yeah, it was a good game. Um, could have gone either way. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, we come back with a loss, but, um, yeah, it was a great, great experience for the boys. you confident that your structures hold up at the MCG? It's obviously a very different shape to playing in. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think we proved a bit, probably a bit... That on the weekend, um, obviously it's a lot wider and a bit smaller, but um, yeah, well, they're they're on top and we took to them, them pretty close. So I think yeah, our structs are pretty good and all the boys sort of know their role and um, yeah, I think we played pretty well against them. There's been a bit of talk that maybe Mark will try and play again before the end of the year. <laughs> nah, it's great. Uh, he's a great player. He'll take me spot, but um, he's uh, oh, he'd be excellent for the finals. Um, bit of class. He adds a bit of class to the team, and um, yeah, he can play midfield forward, and uh, he'd be great to get back. Do you so, think you, sorry, if you maybe had say a Lacroix in the inside against Collingwood, that might have you know been the edge you needed to get over the line. Yeah, definitely. Like, there's only three points in the end, so you had a couple of class players like that, even. Putting Kokoski out there now training, so he's not too far away, and Emily as well. So you chuck in a three or four quality players, all like that experienced players, um, yeah, you'd hope it'd get you over the line. You on track for how many goals you would have thought you kicked at this point of the year? Personally? Person, yeah, personally. For your job, specifically for your job, yeah. do you think, you know, how many goals you kicked is pretty much what most players would kick? Oh, no, probably not. I suppose you look at any bets of those boys, they're kicking a lot more goals than me, but. Um, yeah, my role is just doing the team things as well, all the blocking and forward pressure and all that. So if I can keep all that sort of stuff up, hopefully it can uh, keep me in the side. I don't know how many goals I'll kick though. <laughs> <laughs> you were singled out earlier in the year, Ashton, as one of the, the duckers. How did you, how did you take that? Close accusation. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. I'm four foot, so I sort of can get away with it a bit. But um, you look at the class players that has been accused of um, being duckers, you got Joel Selwood, two Selwoods here, they're pretty quality players, so if I'm in the mix with them, it probably doesn't really matter. Happy <laughs> pretty happy about it. <laughs> hey, nice scars round four, isn't it? That's yeah, against Hawthorne, yeah. he's round four, yeah, so not a good healer. Um, <laughs> it's not good with the girls either. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Hopefully it stays there. Um, might make me a little bit tougher, so <laughs> we'll keep it there for a little bit. Ash, do you reckon that the umpires have tightened up a bit on that whole giving the free kicks, the high tackles. It seems to be you don't get, you're not getting as many, not personally, <laughs> across the board. Um, I think they're looking at it a bit, bit closer now. Um, I, I thought it would been gone by now, but um, yeah, just going to Melbourne over the weekend, it's, it's still around, and um, skill, oh, Collingwood brought it back up again as well with the high tackles and that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, I reckon the umpires have definitely slowed down on it. But um, oh, we're not going out there deliberately trying to duck and get head high, so. Uh, if they're not there, they're not there. So. You sort of have to earn your kicks, really yeah. earn your kicks now, yeah, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah, there was one really late with Shuey right on the boundary. Yep. Maybe it could have been a free kick. Do you reckon if it was anyone else but him, it would have been a free kick? <laughs> oh, tough question, mate. <laughs> 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 I was right there, so I thought it was a head high, but um, oh, you can go either way. That's just footy, I guess. Um, would have been nice if you got a free kick because he was inside 50. But... Um, yeah, I'm not sure, mate. <laughs> did, the umpire, did the umpire just put the whistle away anyway? Because it was the last minute? Last couple of minutes, yeah. It's, it's pretty full on down there, pretty intense. So I think I think it's a good thing if they put their whistles away for a little bit and just let, it, let us play footy and, yeah, see who wins.